Hi, I'm Peter Birch and today we're going to be playing with a lapid. Welcome to Critter Cam. What we have here is an Australian death adder. These guys are typically the master of camouflage. In their environment, they're very, very hard to spot. They typically wind up in this nice shape here with their caudal lure on their tail sticking up through the leaf litter, twiggling away like this, calling a prey item in nice and close. And then what they do is they strike. They've probably got the fastest strike, 26 hundredths of a second. They'll strike onto that food item, pumping venom through their long fangs, pumping, chewing deep into the flesh, their prey item. It's pretty cool. And in fact, the venom itself is neurotoxic. Basically, what it means is it affects the nervous system. So out of all the Australian lapids, this is the guy that you really want to get bitten by because you're going to be successfully recovered with anti -venine. Check that guy out. What we have here is a tiger snake. Tiger snakes have neurotoxic and myotoxic venom. And in fact, the neurotoxic affects the nerves. The myotoxic component affects the muscles. And in fact, it's said that if we get a vial of blood and put a squirt of venom into there, it will turn that blood into jelly. Now, these guys typically inhabit the cooler climates of Australia. They're a live bearing species. And in fact, if we look closely enough, you can almost see some of the banding on this animal itself, which gives it the typical name of tiger snake. This guy's pretty cool. So what we're gonna do is put him back. Now what we have here is an eastern brown snake, responsible for more fatalities in Australia than any other snake. And in fact, his venom is really nasty. To put it in perspective, one drop of venom from this guy can kill 100 grown men. Now that's pretty crazy right there. And in fact, if you watch, you'll probably rear up and then get a little bit aggressive. As you can see, they've got this typical stance. They hood up just like a cobra. And you, yeah, he's getting a little bit flighty there. Now these guys are pretty cool indeed. In fact, these guys inhabit most of Australia. You can find them just about anywhere throughout Australia. The colours and patterns will vary, of course, but typically the same species inhabits everywhere. These guys really like human inhabitation because wherever humans are, we bring in rodents. A very good source of food for these guys. Let's see how Cranky's going to get right about now. Have you been paying attention? This week's question of the week is, one drop of eastern brown snake venom can kill how many people? 100, 200 or 220? Leave your comment below and the answer will be at the end of the show. What we have here is the coastal taipan. These guys are absolutely amazing animals. They'll grow up to two and a half meters long. Their fangs can be quite long indeed. In fact, they can penetrate leather boots. So that's pretty awesome right there. Now, these guys have got probably the most fearsome reputation. They can pump lots of venom and they're very quick moving animals, as you can see. And in fact, if we get close enough and have a look at its head, its head looks plastic-like, which is pretty amazing, I reckon. The world's most deadliest snake, the inland taipan. These guys are well known to have the most toxic venom of any land snake in the world. And in fact, one drop of venom can kill 120 grown adults. Truly an amazing animal that deserves respect. Now these guys in their habitat have a different clothing from winter and summer. And in fact, their coloration completely changes. This week's question of the week was, one drop of eastern brown snake venom can kill how many people? Were you paying attention? Did you get it right? 100. If you guessed 100, congratulations. Now what we have here is probably one of Australia's most familiar snakes. It's called the red belly black snake. In fact, if you look at his belly, you can see his magnificent red belly indeed. 
These guys are absolutely amazing, beautiful animals. I love them. Out of all the venomous snakes, I think the red bellies are probably the most spectacular. Now these guys also have neurotoxic venom, so it affects your nerves again. And in fact, some of the old school uh, reptile handlers used to lose the tip of their fingers because they do have a component in their venom which causes necrosis, so they do lose the end of the tip of their finger by being bitten. Now these guys do have live bearing, they have live babies, they don't lay eggs, they have live babies and in fact they're born in a clear like sack, just like a cat or a dog and they'll tear their way out of that sack and move through the bush. Hope you enjoyed today's show of us playing with some Australian lapids, some very cool animals and very deadly indeed. Please leave a comment below and hit us up on Facebook and Twitter. You've been watching Critter Cam.